we will ensure complete equality of social and political rights to all its inhabitants, irrespective of religion, race, or sex. These are just some of the universal human rights that we fight to defend here at ACRI, Israel's largest and oldest human rights organization. Now in 2017, that liberal democracy is in a battle for its existence. Racism, ultranationalism, and xenophobia are on the rise. Human rights and freedom of expression are the targets. The arena, Israel's own symbol of democracy, the Knesset, its parliament. <laughs> More and more legislations and policies are proposed threatening and violating the rights of Israel's communities, especially those who are in most need of defense. That's where we come in. We work relentlessly every year taking dozens of precedent-setting cases before the Supreme Court to ensure Israel's accountability and respect for human rights. Bills like the MK Expulsion Bill, giving members of Knesset the power to fire other serving MKs for political reasons appealed by ACRI. ACRI petitioned the expropriation law, permitting illegal settlement construction on private Palestinian lands. ACRI defended the right to live in dignity, even behind bars. We ensured that every prisoner in Israel will have a living space no less than the international standard. In Cholot, a detention facility where asylum seekers are held, ACRI made the state reduce number of people per room and grant the right to bring personal belongings. In March 2017, the Knesset approved ACRI's demand that women and Arabs be fairly represented on the Israel Land Authority Council, a government body overseeing the use of 93% of the lands in Israel. In defending freedom of expression, ACRI abolished an ordinance permitting the closure of newspapers by the government. We objected to the Ministry of Culture's initiative to provide extra funding for performances in the settlements and reduce support for those who avoid performing in the settlements. This year, ACRI has helped achieve milestones with the first ever democratic elections in two municipalities for the Negev Bedouin, and the first gay pride parade that took place in Be'er Sheva. These steps towards equality are points of light, but the dark cloud looming over Israel requires those who believe in human rights to unite. Now is the battle over what Israel will become. If you envision an Israel that guarantees complete equality for all, help us get there and support ACRI.